Hi everyone, um, this is Ramesh from Informatica and this video is about to show you a quick demonstration on how to access SQL data service using Tableau. So as said, the agenda of the video is to show a quick demonstration on connecting Informatica SQL data service virtual tables using Tableau. Uh, the high level steps I'll be uh, covering uh, in this demonstration are creating and deploying a SQL data service as a virtual table. Uh, then we'll go ahead and install Informatica data service ODBC driver which is required to access the virtual table uh, if you want to access those using any third-party client. For example here for this demonstration I'm using a Tableau. So we'll be accessing, uh, we want to access the virtual table uh, from the Tableau client. So for that we need to install the ODBC driver which is provided by Informatica. So uh, that's step number two. And step three is to configure the data source name which is DSN using the driver that was installed as part of step two. And then we'll uh, and then use that DSN to access the virtual table using Tableau. So let's go ahead and see a demonstration and we can go and we'll see each of these steps in detail. Alright, so this is a developer client here. So uh, what you see here is a mapping. This is a logical data object mapping. And um, so I have two um, physical data object which is PDO, physical data object here for uh, customer. So uh, both of them are a flat file source and here I'm trying to do some transformation in between. And then final uh, output data is getting written to this customer table. So I want to create a, uh, expose this customer object as a virtual table so that um, any users can use uh, any ODBC uh, accessible client, any third party uh, client which are accessible through ODBC and query and can query against this the data residing in this uh, customer uh, virtual table. So um, the user need not have to worry about the transformation logics and what all the uh, sources involved uh, and the sources uh, included as part of this mapping because the logic behind how the data flows in and finally getting written into this customer object um, is transparent to the uh, user. They need not have to worry about the logic and how many uh, physical object or logical data object uh, being used as a part of source of this mapping and that's the whole uh, 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 Idea behind, idea behind the SQL data service, right? So, uh, for me to expose this customer table or customer object as a virtual table, um, I need to create a SQL data service for this object. And uh, that's step one. And then once I create it, uh, I need to deploy it into the data integration service. So after the deploy, after we deploy it, then um, then um, then it's basically available for anybody and then um, uh, then we just need to install the ODBC driver and then try act and then we should be able to access the data residing this uh, object so uh, let me go ahead and create a SQL data service for this object so I select this um, project folder say new and then uh, data service I select it as a SQL data service say next and say next so here I click on a new. So here I have to give it a name. So let's say I give it as a customers, right? And then I have to uh, select an object, data object for which this virtual table is getting defined. So I'll choose, uh, I have to choose that object as a customer, right? Because that's what I want to expose is as a SQL data service virtual table, right? And then say, I will give it a virtual schema. So let's say I give it a name as customer underscore schema and then say finish. So this created a SQL data service here under data service. Uh, so now I can go ahead and run a query against this virtual table. So that means the virtual table is created and then select star from customers right customer so say run so you can see the data showing up uh, as part of that 
whatever the data is hiding in this uh, LDO mapping which is the as part of this mapping uh, the data is getting transformed uh, getting read from this two flat file source getting some transformation being done and finally writing into an output object called customer right so this data is now exposed as part of a SQLator service so I can go ahead and do a direct SQL statement against this and you can see the data showing up here so um, so first part is done which is uh, creating a SQLator service now we have to go and uh, uh, deploy it into the data integration service now to deploy it uh, there are uh, two step one we have to first create an application and associate this uh, SQL data uh, object or um, virtual table to that application and then we can deploy it into the data integration service unless we uh, associate uh, the, the SQL data service uh, with into an application we cannot really deploy it into data integration service so let me go ahead and create an application here so this is an application so let me give it a name say all customers app and say next and um, say add so say ok and say finish so now this uh, object is associated with this application so now I have to go and say deploy right so here I need to choose which domain so let's say this is the domain and then it will list down which uh, how many integ data integration service created under this uh, domain so I just have one so I select I have to select this one and say finish so what it will do is it will go ahead and deploy this data SQL data service on this DIS which data integration service so it's currently deploying just give it a minute and uh, give it a second because it might just take a few 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 seconds to complete the final deploying okay so the deployment is complete so so uh, so this completes the step number one what we uh, have discussed uh, while I was showing up the slide so now next step is to uh, install the ODBC Informatica data service ODBC on the client machine so here I'll be installing it on a machine from where tableau client is there and wants to access this customers virtual table right so let's go ahead and uh, install the ODBC driver okay so I already have copied the software here so uh, when you request for ODBC Informatica will provide you an installer so uh, for me I'm using a 951HF2 because my domain is Informatica domain is 951HF2 so let me go ahead and install uh, ODBC driver okay so I have select install option and say next so it will install it in a C drive this location is fine so say next and now it's calculating the space requirement and say install okay so still installation is almost getting complete now okay so this is done right so the ODBC driver installation is done so now what we have to do is create and data source name which is the DSN right using this driver uh, before that we have to um, just uh, take a note of one thing is since I'm using here 64 bit of uh, uh, ODBC JDBC driver you see here 64 bit uh, you need to um, restart your client machine and uh, that's very specific to 64 bit if you look into the documentation it very clearly says for 64 bit ODBC driver uh, when you install it after the installation just restart your client machine so that the relevant libraries are dependent uh, binaries everything is included in the path so let me just go ahead and do a quick restart of this machine alright so the restart is done so now let me go ahead and create a data source name using the driver which we just installed so for that we have to go to C drive windows and system 32 and here if I look for ODBC administrator so now it will open an ODBC data source administrator so go to the system DSN say add 
so now you have an you see here you have an option uh, you have a driver which is Informatica Data Service ODBC driver so once you install that driver uh, after that you can see here it shows in this list so now select that and say finish so now we have to enter the information of the virtual table so let's say give it a name say SQL virtual virtual table say customers and uh, host name right so here I had to provide the uh, host name of where um, DIS is running on data integration service and so this is PSG LX 64 I believe 64 yep and then port number so port number is 15596 One five five nine. So data integration service name is DIS nine five one. DIS nine five one. SQL data service name. SQL data service name you can find out from. So if I select the DIS and then go to applications and then select on the SQL data service. So this is the name here you see all customers app dot sql underscore data underscore service so I go here copy paste and then the username password so here username is administrator okay so now you can do a test connection so connection successful right so now uh, oh, the data source connection is created right so we are done with this step number two now the third step was to access this through tableau right so let me go ahead and open a tableau client here oh, sorry this is not this is uh, say exit tableau client here okay so here select data say connect to data and then it will show you a whole bunch of option here so click on the ODBC type and now you can see here so now you have to select the DSN right so let's select the one that we created just now which was virtual table customers and say connect so, okay so enter the username password And now we have to give a schema name so let's select the drop down here it will auto populate whatever the schema so say customer schema and then table so table name is say customers and say ok and say ok so now you can see it is asking you to if you want to import all data or you want to import some data or um, connect live so uh, if you come to this stage that means you are able to successfully connect access the virtual table from this tableau so I can select on import all data and I can say save and it will import it right so uh, um, I mean the this is what I wanted to show in this quick video how we can access the virtual table and what are the steps involved here and then uh, so now you see that this tab I'm able to access the customers data from this uh, Tableau client uh, using the Informatica data service uh, ODBC driver um, so I, I believe you uh, uh, you uh, had a you follow the steps and you can use this uh, to access the SQL virtual table using any third-party client using the ODBC driver so Please send your any feedback. Uh, uh, we'd love to hear from you at support video at informatica.com or you can tweet us at twitter.com slash infosupport. Thank you so much for watching this video.